So you got colliders on your animation montages and you want to send the enemy into ragdoll when they collide. Not a problem. So let's say we're just going to use a generic character. So we'll just right click, create a new blueprint character, name it, open it, set it to our basic mannequin, rotate it. You can leave it at pawn or you can set it to ragdoll. It will get sent flying farther away if it's in ragdoll though, but it's your choice. Then in the event graph, you're going to right click and create a custom event. Name it something like ragdoll. Give it a new input that has an actor variable. And from here, you're going to drag that into a do once node, which will make sure that this only happens for the first time that it collides with the sword. Then it tells the character to start simulating physics, which sends everything into ragdoll. And then we'll add an impulse force to send the character flying. I want him to fly away pretty fast, so I'm going to use a pretty high number. And I also want him to get sent flying in a direction that is away from me. And you can do that by subtracting the ragdoll's position from the main character's position. And I also want him to pop up a little bit so that he flies a little bit upward. So we're going to set Z to negative 50. Normalize, and I want him to get sent flying really far, so I'm going to multiply everything by a force of 155,000. Drag everything into the impulse value, and that is it for the character Ragdoll. Now, if you followed my last video, you should have a collision notification blueprint that looks kind of like this. All we got to do is change it by replacing the sphere object trace with a trace by channel instead, then break the hit result and from the hit actor, cast to the ragdoll character blueprint that we just created. Then trigger its custom event and feed the main character as the attacker. We'll finish with a return node at the end and we'll also make another return node if it fails. And make sure you have this from mesh node to get the owner and connect it like this. And the entire blueprint setup looks like this. You're done. If you run the game now, when your character swings, you should see them ragdoll away. Feel free to adjust the numbers here to make them fly farther away, or fly higher by changing this number. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.